What's up YouTube? Just thought I'd make a quick video on how to program a Radio Shack Pro 197 digital trunking scanner with a conventional frequency. Alright, and right now the scanner is just in scan mode, doing its thing. Alright, first thing you want to do is press the program key. Alright, and then it pops up. Uh, right here, your F1, F2, F3, those are called your soft keys. You can see just above those you have new, edit, and globe. You want to press new because we're programming a new frequency. Then it uh, says select object type to create. You have F1 is talk group, F2 is conventional, F3 is search. We want to do a conventional frequency, so we're going to press F2. Alright, here's our menu. Now it says scan list, and it has an asterisk next to number 1. All right, whichever scan list you want it to be under, it's up to you. By default, it chooses one. Uh, just for demonstration, I'm going to choose number nine. So press the select, and that will remove the asterisk. All right, then scroll over to whichever scan list you want it to be under. All right, once you get the one you want, press select again. Bam! Now we're under uh, scan list number nine. All right, now... Go down to frequency, press select. All right, now you're ready to enter the frequency of whatever channel you want. All right, I'm going to program the Coast Guard into mine. So my frequency, which I've already looked up, is 157.1000. All right, and then after you've entered your frequency, press the enter key. All right, frequency's in there. Now you're ready to drop down to tag which the tag is what the channel is called. By default, it just calls it channel. You can leave that as is, but it's a lot better if you go in and change it to whatever it's called. That way, whenever the scanner picks up on it, it'll tell you down here on the screen what you're listening to. So press select, and then scroll over to the end of channel. Press the clear button, and delete all that. Alright, and then go in and call it whatever you want. Alright, just to make this simple, I'm going to call mine A1. Okay, now I hit done. Alright, now my channel is called A1. Now drop down to uh, leave all that to search. Um, the, the rest of this is pretty much how you want to set it up, whatever suits you. If you want to make it a priority, change the colors. Um, I want to change mine to where it flashes the light when it recognizes this channel. And I want the color to be yellow. So then you can go down here. You can make the black light flash. You can set an alarm, which I'm going to do that. I'll put mine on two chirp. Um, you can make it a favorite. And then once you get to the ex uh, expert below... Pretty much everything below where it says expert below, you can leave that as is and it will work fine. If you know what you're doing and you really want to customize it, go on down there and change the stuff. If not, leave well enough alone. Alright, once you're good, you're going to press the soft key F1, which is directly underneath save. That saves it into your scanner and then it asks you to select the object type to create which basically means you just started the whole process over again if you carry uh, carry on from this point. But, we just programmed it, so now you're ready to listen to it. Hit scan. Alright, right now I have uh, scan list 5, 7, and 8 selected. So that means it's only scanning those scan lists. We just saved that frequency under scan list 9, so we simply press number 9. We just added that on to what we're scanning. Alright, so now to check it, you can go to manual, and then you can, or there it is right there. Alright, basically it shows you scan list 9, which is object number 159. It's a conventional, uh, it's on automatic, there's the frequency, uh, the channel's called A1, and then again it shows you it's scan list number 9. And that's how you do it. If you got any questions... Feel free, hit me up. I'll do anything and everything I can to help you out. Otherwise, have a good one.